Hi everyone, it's currently the 11th of June 2011 out here in the Western Pacific and looking at several areas of a convection. Currently we have the remnants of Tropical Depression uh, Sarika down in here, actually still being worn on Tropical Depression Sarika, but only in the last few frames you do see a very weak blow up here just southwest of the center of circulation on this system which has already made landfall over China. You really can't see it here as this is an infrared imagery and only picking up a lot of the higher cloud tops. It's just northeast of Hong Kong by approximately 100 nautical miles actually on Hong Kong's radar currently seeing some rain showers in the area as shown here but these are really just some uh, rain showers though I don't really even see any uh, red in the midst of these showers just indicating not a really a high chance of thunderstorms in all these and a uh, really limited chance of any severe weather such as tornadoes and not such over Hong Kong today so really great news there also a large area of low pressure over Japan today uh, another easterly wave moving over the Philippines and another one working its way in right around 160 degrees east but we'll get back to that in a second zooming in on uh, tropical depression though. Sarika here as already noted a lot of the uh, convection along the southwestern periphery as you can see on this enhanced IR imagery there is some low level circulation up here towards the north so center of circulation looks like it's already over land here. This is from the last warning which was at 0600 this morning or about the 21 Zulu for everybody worldwide here when this warning was put out so right now center of circulation looks like it's a little bit farther towards the north. A lot of that convection just off towards the southwest due to the high amount of vertical wind shear off here towards the north, really knocking off the uh, uh, center of circulation just uh, along the northern periphery, fully exposing the center of circulation actually, which really rapidly weakened it. So right now, a lot of the warnings right on it are right around 30 knots, gusting up to 40 knots as indicated by observations out in the region here. And also, as noted yesterday, the uh, precipitation factor really doesn't look like it's going to be such a uh, big threat at this time. Only uh, just in certain areas here are going to see some higher precipitation. Really, the stationary front just to the north is going to be the larger factor out here in China and even out towards the Ryukyu Islands in Japan today as the more uh, factor of severe weather. Before we get on to that area of low pressure uh, over Japan today, I do want to look at a quick warning, a uh, quick look at all the warnings here from the different agencies. JTWC here on the left uh, pretty much have it all but dissolved uh, 30, gusting up to 40 knots. Really don't have too much else coming out of this. I would not be surprised if by noon today or about 03 Zulu today, this was totally canceled out on JMA, also starting to end this warning on it. They do have it over land at this time. Recurving off towards the northeast as it gets wrapped up with that stationary front. And also Hong Kong really just has it kind of weakening and fading out here over China as well. So just quick look at all, all three of these agencies here all warning on it. And really don't expect these to uh, continue warning on it past the next six hours. And that is not only because of the land interaction but also the high amount of shear that is erupted. Uh, all but a little convection on the southwestern periphery here all associated with the stationary front up here towards the north. Also so a area of low pressure, a very massive area of low pressure actually, right around 998 millibar, which is actually deeper than what tropical depression uh, Sarika is down here. That's actually right around 1,001 millibars. So I'm actually seeing a deeper system up here. It is a little bit farther toward the north. That, that does contribute to that factor. But also noting seeing sustained winds up in this region, upwards of 25 up to 30 knots. Actually here on the Contal Plain where I'm located, heavy rain showers today being noted outside. Uh, some pretty heavy uh, straight line winds out here as well, all associated with this area of low pressure as it continues to move off towards the northeast and this is all associated with the uh, rain or the uh, rainy season rain band right down in here actually extending stationary front moving off towards the west and when I say the rainy season rain band actually uh, also put a graphic up here just showing all these rain showers and uh, overall overcast skies being indicated here across much of this area and this is all associated with that rain band over eastern China across the Ryukyu Islands Kyushu uh, Shikoku and all over much of Honshu so uh, this is all the uh, rainy season or bayou season also indicating some overcast skies and rain showers here over the Philippines today associated with an easterly wave. This is Invest 94W. So we're continuing to watch this area down here for any tropical development. But right now, model's not picking up on it. But as already noted, in a lot of these other systems, once we do put an invest on it, or actually an invest does come from a JTWC here and says, hey, we should closely monitor this, there is a high or a pretty decent potential of some tropical into an organized system. But as of right now, though, it is still continuing to produce some heavy rain showers across Mindanao, Visayas, and even Manila Metropolitan Air reporting some heavy rain showers this morning. So 
Could see some localized flooding in some low-lying areas out here today as this easterly wave does drift across the region here. So just continue to closely monitor that. In here, just showing GFS's model on this uh, system out here, just showing the high amount of precipitation extending over eastern China. And by tomorrow, actually, that area of low pressure is going to move off towards the northeast here, south of Camp Chaka. And that's really what you're seeing up in this region. But another low is going to develop off that stationary front and just kind of move over uh, much of Honshu by tomorrow into Monday as well. So we're going to continue to see precipitation out here throughout Monday and even to uh, Tuesday morning before high pressure starts to ridge back in and moves that stationary front a little bit farther towards the south, getting clearing by Tuesday. And one more actual satellite picture here that I like to use. This is a graphic from Sims here, just showing the uh, a lot of the moisture in the upper atmosphere out here and just indicating the easterly waves down in this region, indicating this all in bright red, but also the uh, Bayou stationary front up here uh, just south of Hanshu and also developing up here, and it kind of blows over Hanshu here in the last several frames. Well, is it indicating all the uh, moisture that has been seen here in the last 24 hours? Also, looking down here over the Philippines, you do see the uh, development of Tropical Storm Sarika as it starts to blow up here. And you can actually see some circulation in there and all this uh, moisture inflow coming into the system from the north. Not really so much coming in from the, uh, or excuse me, from the south here to the north. Not so much coming in from the northern periphery as indicated on its uh, development as much of the outflow was to the southern periphery. But this is a pretty good uh, analysis and a pretty good tool to use just to show where all the moisture is coming from and not such out here. But that is all for right now. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can always post them in the comment box below, or you can email here at westpacweather at gmail.com. Also, I do want to mention that in 10 days' time, I will not be doing any updates so actually for some great period of time going on some business-related work travel out here. So you might actually see me down south around Australia, specifically in some of the areas where uh, Yasi made landfall there. So uh, just uh, keep looking for those updates for that. And also, uh, thanks again for everybody who watches these updates regularly. I do try to put some scientific reasoning behind them just to uh, give everybody a kind of a clue on what's going on but also why it's going on so I hope you uh, enjoy those as well so thanks again for listening everybody stay safe out there and I hope you have a great day